Hello students, this is Obhijit Shah from SNCS. So today we will discuss about one new geography topic from chapter 4. The name is weathering and soil formation. So the earth is the only planet that support life. So basically normally we know that only in earth there have the life. This is because the life sustaining elements such as land, water and air are present on the earth. So only earth, on earth there have the lands, water and air. Those are needed for a life. The three main components of the earth are land or lithosphere, all kinds of rocks, elements, these are under this lithosphere. Next is water, that means uh, the hydrosphere, all kinds of water and the air, that means the atmosphere. Okay, the zone in which most living creatures exist is known as biosphere and with by this three sphere one new or the the region biosphere is actually originate okay and biosphere it may be from hydrosphere it may be from atmosphere or it may be from lithosphere but all kinds of living things are belongs from this biosphere and in this zone the three main component of the earth meet overlap and interact so these three zones are actually overlap and interact in this biosphere and this zone contains all forms of life and if one of them is excluded from the composition of the earth life in its present form would disappear the earth's surface has been undergoing continuous change as a result of geological processes due to factors like temperature and pressure so day by day the atmosphere or the earth's climate is actually changing okay and the temperature also changing pressure also changing and there are two types of forces the internal and external and which are responsible for producing these changes on the earth's surface so earth's surface is not same in all it in all time that this is changing in nature okay and there have some internal and external some factors the external forces like wind and running water smoother, south, smoothen, smoothen the landforms of the earth's surface so by the ha hand of wind and running water that the land surface are actually smoothing and they create various kind of formation that mountains plateaus and plains and the internal process originate within the earth surface and are related to volcanism and earthquake so internal forces means that due to volcanic eruption or the earthquake phenomena some changes are happened in the landforms and next is rocks rocks play an important part in geography and rocks make up most of the solid materials of the lithosphere okay and the substance of which rocks are made are called minerals so in rocks there have various kind of mix mixing minerals okay thus rocks are aggregates of minerals and have no definite chemical composition so rocks have not any kind of definite chemical composition because there have a mixture of various kind of minerals and some rocks contain metals in large quantities which can be extracted economically and from some rocks we can extract a def definite minerals okay and these kinds of rocks are very economically acceptable and such rock are called ores like iron that from the magnetite rocks that this is that there have 70 to 80 percent iron ore okay so this is very uh, precious for us and from these rocks we can easily collect the iron ore so all earth materials consist of rocks and minerals so an earth is totally uh, consist with rocks and minerals and by definition a mineral has a definite chemical composition with its own chemical and physical properties so minerals are actually the chemical composition and they have some uh, physical and chemical properties like silicates quartz these are the minerals and the these minerals also will be placed in a uh, as a pile and importance of rocks rocks are of great economic importance so these are very important or economically these are also very important and rocks are used for building material we use the rocks for construct any kind of buildings and rocks on disintegration break up into fine particles which form soil so by some processes soils are also produced from the rocks and soil is essential for growing crops okay and rocks supply raw materials for manufacturing industries and in some manufacturing industry they are also needed some rocks okay and rocks supply precious metals and from the rocks we can we can able to collect various kind of precious metal like the gold and silver 
these kinds of precious metals also we collect from the rocks and these are used for making jewelry and types of rocks so on the basis of their formation rock formation rocks are classified into three types so the rocks will be three types igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks what is igneous rocks that in latin word ignis means fire so igneous rocks were formed as the molten magma solidified either inside the earth or on the surface of the earth so at first the earth also was a hot bowl okay and uh, this when they solidified and cooled down they also they at first made the igneous rocks and from this igneous rocks uh, that with some processes the other two type of salts rocks that means sedimentary and metamorphic rocks are formed so the first or parent rock is igneous rocks and it is actually formed from the molten magma okay and igneous rocks are the parent rock of the other rocks and make up 85 percent of the earth's crust so the earth's surface that means the crust is made up with this igneous rocks and the share is 85 percent okay and types of igneous rocks that igneous rocks may be intrusive and extrusive so this may be uh, placed in a surface area or it will be from in a bottom area and its intrusive rocks were formed at some depth in the earth's crust when the molten material that means the magma solidified under great pressure resulting in the formation of rocks like granite so with some pressure uh, that this uh, magma it will be solidified okay and they may be create some rocks and extrusive rocks were formed by the pouring out of magma and either through volcanoes and through cracks and crevices. so by the volcanic eruption or by some cracks and crevices, the molten magma this will be come out into the surface and after the cooled they can be made the rocks okay and igneous rocks are generally very uh, compact and do not wear out easily like the basalt, granite, feldspar, pumica, these are the example of igneous rocks and these are very hard in nature. And the ores of metals which are valuable to men are generally associated with igneous rocks. Okay, so various kind of ores of metals we can collect from the igneous rocks. Next is sedimentary rocks that these are formed from sediments accumulated over long period of seas, lakes, rivers and glaciers and they are deposited in distinct layers or strata. So, the sedimentary rocks means they are actually accumulate long over period in, in, in sea, lake or river. Okay, and they may contain worst products of older rocks and which are broken down through the action of various agents of denudation such as wind, running water and glacial. Okay, so they are actually uh, break, broke down or broken down with some uh, activities like the wind, uh, erosion, running water erosion, glacier erosion, by this they actually broke down. Next is type of sedimentary rocks. We can also further divide uh, the sedimentary rock into three parts, mechanical formed sedimentary rock, organically formed and chemically formed. Mechanically formed sediment rocks means that these rocks contain the fragments of waste from disintegration or breaking up of other rocks. The agent of denudation break them further and transport them to new sites where they are deposited and from new sedimentary rocks sandstone shale and clay are formed by the mechanical process okay so mechanical means there have not any kind of chemical composition or chemical uh, reaction okay mechanically they broke down with the uh, variation of temperature and these kinds of things and next is organically formed sedimentary rocks means that this consists of remains of marine animals and plants and they are also formed when the vegetation matter is buried and undergoes change example coal petroleum or rock oil is the product of the decay of plants and animal remains so we uh, can extract the petroleum from the rocks because these are actually some plants or animals they actually decay in the rocks and they create the petroleum and petroleum we can extract from the rocks so organically they are uh, from the sedimentary rocks and other example include the limestone and oral also these kinds of organically formed sedimentary rocks next is chemically formed sedimentary rocks and these include sedimentary rocks made of chemical process so there have some chemical process by the, some chemical process such as the rocks formed by the direct chemical precipitation of mineral matter example gypsum rock salt etc and they accumulate in salt lakes and lagoons through evaporation and some of these are, are uh, arranged in layers and covered by stratified shells or sandstone and these are called chemically formed sedimentary rocks so these are called as chemically formed sedimentary rocks where some chemical composition chemical reaction is happened next is metamorphic rocks the term metamorphic is divided derived from the word metamorphis that means change of form 
and when igneous or sedimentary rocks are subjected to extreme temperature and pressure so due to extreme temperature and pressure the igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks it will be transferred into new kinds of rocks and this kinds of new kinds of rocks will be called as metamorphic rocks okay and they undergo complete change in form and characteristic features so they actually totally change their characteristic features due to high temperature and high pressure and such kinds of rocks are metamorphic rocks are like the uh, from the limestone created the marble okay marble come from the limestone so this is marble is one kind of metamorphic rocks and they are formed due to tectonic movement volcanic activity or heat and pressure and limestone is changed to marble so limestone it will be changed into as a marble and marble is the metamorphic rock and clay and shales as uh, to slate slate is also metamorphic rock granite to gneiss gneiss is also come from the granite and this is the metamorphic rock at basalt into schist and uh, this way uh, the coal is uh, into graphite so these are actually the some example of metamorphic rocks and valuable mineral such as gold and silver are associated with them